Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, interesting video today. We're gonna react to Rumi greatest quotes which are worth listening to. Coming from a background of spiritual and mystical experiences, I can of course relate to those great Sufi philosophers. Alright, with no further ado, let's have a look. Read your words, not your voice. It is rain that grows flowers not thunder absolutely self-explanatory shouting and screaming has never solved anything only if you control your emotions and you choose your words wisely you will accomplish anything in this life as you start to walk on the way the way appears yes very powerful indeed because many people are procrastinating they're wondering hmm how should i start something you don't start something by thinking about it you start something by actually starting it so people really overthink everything nowadays i have so many people that are thinking about what kind of gi or rash guard they should wear if they were to sign up to jujitsu it's absolutely insane why don't you just go to jujitsu class first and see if you like it at all or people start buying gym equipment i saw that in germany crazy man before they get into any sport they're gonna buy the whole equipment first you start by starting first you sign up in the gym then you realize oh i have no idea so now you need to figure out how to train then you get better at it then you get stronger at it so the path unfolds as you go wherever you are and whatever you do be in love this is the highest lesson you can learn but it is only learned as well by doing you cannot think about i'm gonna love it because then you get into this whole self-help niche where you have to tell yourself in front of the mirror how much you love yourself it is pathetic and it doesn't work you will have to realize why you love doing certain things and then in the end ultimately you should realize that you love it because you're doing them for god i know you're tired but come this is the way. <laughs> Set your life on fire. Seek those who fan your flames. This translates to show me your friends and I'm going to show you who you are. Because ultimately, if you don't have passionate people around you, people that are driving you, people that are essentially lighting up your fire, then you are dead. Really, it is like that. To be self-motivated all the time, after a while, you will burn out. This is why successful bodybuilders have training partners. This is why successful businessmen have mentors around them. This is why athletes need a whole team around them. It is crucial. You cannot go through this life by yourself. I am a loner of some sorts and plenty of things that I do in my life I have to do by myself. But nevertheless ultimately you're not born into this world to be alone you're born alone you die alone but you live with other people and real productivity comes from brotherhood patience is the key to joy that is absolutely correct self-explanatory the world is a mountain in which your words are echoed back to you Sure. In this generation of new ages, people would call that karma, of course, but it really is true that what goes around comes around. You will have to choose your words wisely because it will come back to you. In Germany, we say, so wie du in den Wald hineinrufst, schalt es heraus. And what that means is the way that you shout into the forest, the same way it echoes back. It's basically exactly the same teaching here. Everything that you say or do has an impact. Wherever you stand. Be the soul of that place. Okay, that's deep. When the world pushes you to your knees, you're in the perfect position to pray. <laughs> this is absolutely great, and I think that most people don't really understand what it means. Oftentimes, when we find ourselves at the lowest point of our life, 
this is the best moment of our life because it is a pivotal point to make the greatest change. Most people don't see it that way. When I was at my lowest point, it led to tremendous change. My first low point I had when I was 12 years old. I was a chubby kid and I was so frustrated about it. I was praying to God to help me, to get me out of this fat mess. I really hated to be fat. And this is when I found out about dieting, intermittent fasting, etc. When I was 12 years old I started my first diet I stopped eating after 8 p.m. like that I lost the weight and transformed into a skinny teenager it was a pivotal moment in my life later on when I had my first breakup this actually led me into hardcore bodybuilding every single time I found myself being broke that made me transmute myself and work for my money this is what we have to understand as people when we at the lowest point this a beautiful place to pray to God because only God can help us in those moments and if I look back every single time when I had a moment of hardship I would pray and after that if you really honestly genuinely reach out to God you will be guided and your whole life changes for the better love is the bridge between you and and everything 100 everything is in love i realized that through my spiritual experiences i saw for a tree to produce fruit there is love in place love that god put in place for a mother to birth a child no matter how brutal it is there is love in place everything is held together through love it is really connecting everything if you look angry at life you are cutting the tie of love and like that your life Life will resonate hate towards you it will hate you just as much as you hate your life anyone who genuinely and consistently with both hands looks for something will find it seek and you shall find yep yesterday I was clever so I wanted to change the world today I am wise so I am changing myself. Again, 100%. I said that a billion times here on this channel. Once you realize that you cannot change the world, this is the biggest liberation you can have. Once you realize, hey, I can only change myself. So I can get up early. I can eat healthy. I can exercise. I can make more money. I can be a better father. I can be a better son. That's what you can do. And by that, slowly but surely, you will see a change in your world. Because if everybody would work on themselves, every Everybody would be the best version of themselves, even though I hate that terminology, then we would have a great world. But because people get addicted to drugs, people are addicted to degeneracy, people are addicted to all kinds of junk food and whatnot, this is why we have an evil, bad world. Don't you understand? If everybody would work on themselves and overcome their passions, this would be paradise. When you see a person who is often silent and avoids people, try to stay close to him because he has been given wisdom. Yeah, or maybe he doesn't want to talk to people. <laughs> Everything that is made beautiful and fair and lovely is made for the eye of one who sees. Absolutely correct. Everything is made by the grace and the love of God. And if you have the eyes to see, you will see love and beauty everywhere. If you're close up, you won't see it. I like to give the example of a stereotypical racist. So he gets out of his door and the first thing he sees is a black man. His day is absolutely ruined. Then he continues further and goes by a kebab shop. Now his day is even worse. Everything screams hate at him. He hates that reality he is surrounded by everything he despises now take a person that has zero racism in them he goes out and he just sees people his day is absolutely perfect don't you understand god created everything so only if we look with love at his creation we can truly love him everyone has been made for some particular work true and the desire for that work has been put in every heart Absolutely right. You will only find out if you listen to yourself and you find out what that is. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. I absolutely love the quotes of Rumi here. This is the Islam that I truly appreciate. I know and I'm very well aware that many Sufis, especially nowadays, fell into bida, into innovation. I've seen that through my wife, that in Senegal, for example, you have Sufi masters that are worshipped like saints, like gods even. Of course, I understand that that 
that is shirk. And I'm not advocating for any such practices whatsoever. However, to remove spirituality, to remove philosophy completely from Islam, for me personally, is a very rigid approach that I cannot resonate with. If I look at the Salafi approach, for example, I do appreciate many things of it. For example, the straight line. However, at the same time, I find a spiritual dryness within that practice. It is phenomenal that you can recite the Quran. It is phenomenal that you know all the hadiths by heart, that you know all the scriptures, that you can point your finger towards a specific text and show the proof for it. But it is a very literalist approach. And for me personally, that doesn't work. It leads to rigidity. It leads to spiritual dryness. It kills my soul, genuinely. I need the spiritual connection to God. I need the remembrance of God. I need the mystical aspect of religion. Because without it, we end up only in the material again, only in the flesh realm. And this is, of course, what scientism does nowadays. Everything is material. We have to understand it pragmatically through science, etc., etc. And when I see people having that approach to religion, I'm really wondering what is going on. Because religion should be about the transcendent, should be about the divine, of course. And this is what I absolutely love about the quotes of Rumi, because it makes us forget this material world for a second and reminds us of our soul, reminds us of the divine. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.